Hey there YouTube, Rob here. Got part two of my let's play of Bad Dude versus Dra uh, Bad Dudes, sorry, versus Dragon Ninja. Uh, part two and probably be the last part because I've only got four levels left, and unless the levels are really long, yeah, I'll probably beat it tonight or today. Tonight, what am I thinking? So yeah, I got. I'm just gonna jump right into this because President Ronnie ain't gonna rescue himself. I did learn of another move while just messing around with this. Look at that, the freaking Tatsumaki, if you just tap jump and then hit attack shortly after. So I'm still not perfect at it. Very good for dealing with multiple guys in front of you at once when you don't have the nunchucks. Oh man. Oh, I want that life. Oh. Oh, nunchucks, I want those. Get oh, man on fire. What the? Oh, it's Red Ninja that's on fire. Suppose they're Dragon Ninja. Maybe Dragon breathed on them. This level is very disorienting. I don't, I don't think those trees emulated properly. Uh, those, they all run at me and just get some massacred. Make get more points for grabbing those nunchucks? No? Ah, shit. Uh, I don't want to die because I'm going to lose my nunchucks. Eh! Ah, she rock landed right on a freaking caltrop. Awesome. Oh, that's time. I'll, more time. I'll take that. Oh, I don't like those dogs. I tell you that much. Oh, he screams like a pussy when he gets hit. It's funny. Oh, whoa! Who's this fucking Road Warriors looking dude? So you don't have much time to continue, I found out. Wow, this guy's incredibly hard to do. Oh, he sounds like a Riri. That's. F Maybe I can hurt. Go on down. Ah. Man, this guy's, this guy's kind of tough, though. Oh, I feel like I killed a giant retard. I'm that bad. At stage four. We'll see what random location next stage is. Oh, the train, yes. I remember seeing this in the arcade. Don't think I've ever played this far. I've seen the ending for this game, but I've never finished it in either NES or SNES or arcade form. A little disappointed to learn that apparently uh, some independent group was making a Kickstarter project to do a sequel to this, <coughs> but they didn't get anywhere near the funding they wanted. Sorry for the coughing, by the way. Ooh, you sneaky shuriken throwing bastard. Oh man, this music is so good. Look at oh the on fire guy. Oh, go on, give me nunchucks. I'll take the knife. All oh, right, in the cooch. Nothing worse than cooch knife, I swear. I, I would obviously know this from personal experience, clearly. Man, the game the game's difficulty gets ramped up by after level three. I mean, here I'm just like a sitting duck. Subject of the whim of every guy with sword and guy that's on fire. Oh, come on, have a friggin' nunchuck. Well, whatever. Oh man, it's Green Carnov, the regular enemy. 
Should also mention Dottie's used Carnov in another game, Fighters History: Carnov's Revenge, which is like a which is a Street Fighter 2 clone that had Carnov as the last boss. So I don't know for a guy that he was you know a hero of his own game. I'm beginning to think he's not such a good dude. Let's pump up on credits. It doesn't show me how many credits I have, so I just want to make sure I always have credits. Oh yeah. Face down ass up, baby. Pop can, I'll take that. I could use that before the death, but you know. Come on. Clock. It's funny that ninjas always show him holding a knife at uh, his hand, the red ones, but they don't always have knives. Sword ninjas are... Sword ninjas are pretty stupid. If I had a sword, I would just slash with it. I wouldn't go with fancy... All that fancy trying to jump on your head bullshit. But I'm not a ninja, so what do I know, right? Oh man, I must be near... The, there we go. Whoa! Oh man, this guy's a bitch. I can't even really jump to a lower level to hurt him. He's got a... oh, I can't remember the name of that weapon. The sickle and the chain, but... It's not a Kusari Gom, I don't think, is it? I'll just hold down, hold down attack and keep and keep tapping jump when he's not in the air. That way there I'll just do my jump kick of doom. Wow, that was surprisingly very effective. I am bad. Fuck you. Alright, let's, let's go to the next stage. So it's stage sixes. And randomly I go into caves. I love that these set pieces really don't flow into each other in any way intelligent or even retarded. Those dogs really telegraph themselves, and yet they're still fairly hard to, you know, fight against. It's weird. It's like you hear them, but by the time they actually come onto the screen, they're on your ass. Ugh, you can jump down onto a sword and get your ass kicked, really? That's right, those guys throw smoke bombs sometimes. More time, got it. Ah, wow. Caltrops, and I don't have an upper level to jump to. This... Oh, that was bullshit! That Caltrop was hidden by cavernous stalactite or stalagmite or whichever that one happened to be. Oh, wow, that was brutal. Those black ninja guys are freaking stupid. There we go! A smart blue ninja with a sword that stabbed at me instead of trying to jump at me. Ah. For... Oh. Yeah, those black ninja with the claws are annoying. They kind of blonk at you there. Oh, another green Karnov. Yeah, I really should get good at Karnov and actually play that sometime, too. That game is fun. Hard as hell, but it was another game I played as a kid. Kind of an unfair one hit you're dead kind of game, but uh, the NES version they changed that. They gave you two hits and you're dead. That guy just threw three smoke bombs at me. Okay, because he's not coming back at me. Oh man, bamboo spikes. If you go to Viet Cong, those spikes would be covered in shit. And I would probably get have to take a tetanus shot just to survive. Ooh, that was a well placed health power up. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna joke. How does how do I kick a ninja star? I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad I did, but as black as just roll at me like Blanca. Holy shit! Oh, well now I got tetanus from those shit spikes. Oh, nunchucks. Nope, not even. Well, I'll just heal that one little bit of damage. Okay, who's this boss? 
Oh, it's Jackass with a bow staff. So I don't remember the bosses being this good in the NES version. In the NES version, I just remember the bosses being more generic, but I could be wrong. Come here, I'll break dance you to death. Oh man, this is like Billy Kane on speed. You really got, yeah, I really it's good. You don't have a lot of, a lot of time once you uh, put the credit in to continue, or once you die to continue, so I'll just pump a bunch of credits in, like I think I said I was going to do. Oh man, this, this guy's an asshole. There, finally. All right, last level. Now we get to see you kidnap President Ronnie. And it's in a warehouse. Apparently, I'm guessing an underground warehouse is about the only way I could accept that last level as being valid in any way whatsoever. Okay, I want that knife. It's not going to last me though too much longer unless I get another Red Ninja with life soon, but, you know. I mean, there we go, jump up and get knifed in the face. The glorious death of a ninja. Oh, please be life. Yes! I know I, make, I know I put the knife down compared to, like, the nunchucks, but it's better than your fists. Oh, slide down a stripper pole, ninja stripper pole. That or those are the ninja firefighters. Oh, that's the dragon sign, so you know they're dragon ninja. Karno looks like a dragon ninja. I mean, he's the, the green one, anyway. He's green, and he breathes fire. Those Buddhist monks over there that light themselves on fire. One more time, I'll take that. Oh, that life, I'm out of time. That life anyway was. Ah, wrong jump button. Oh man, those flaming guys take two hits. What the fuck? Ha ha ha. Walked, jumped right into my walking fist of death, which is my new technique. Oh, there's, Car there's Green Carnov. I love how he still dies like a like he did when he was a boss. Oh, oh man, is this a regular version of Retard Joe here? Oh man, this guy kills you fast though. Man, this last level is brutal. That's two bosses I've had to fight as regular enemies. The life of a bad dude, though, I can't complain. Really? Is the last boss just a version of Claw Guy, or is this just. Or is this just a red herring? Fuck, he takes enough. No, he can't be a boss. That, the last boss, actually, he doesn't have uh, a life bar. They're just playing boss music. Oh, yeah. Right, the. Oh man, this guy's hard to hard to attack. Fuck! A little sh Blanca shutter here. There. Oh yeah, I forgot about this asshole. My Andonishua.
Holy hell. This level was definitely a quarter a quarter stealer level. Oh man, I almost had a perfect wreck of a run of killing the green ninja. There you go. Yeah, that's what I thought he'd be next. Oh uh, god, then I gotta fight Bow Staff guy next. I somehow don't remember this being in the NES version from anything I've seen, but. The NES version was particularly brutal, though, because if. Uh, I th if I remember correctly, you'd, if you died, you just you'd start to level over, but maybe that was only if you played two players alternating. This guy's annoying as hell. No real strategy here. Yeah. Just, oh no! Whoa! That guy's badass! And all he's doing is sending his fucking dogs out. Oh, there we go. That looks like a fucking Oni. And I'm just kicking his... And all I'm doing is kicking him in the ankles and face. What's he... What's he attacking me with? That must be Dragon Ninja. Oh yeah, it's fucking Ronald fucking Reagan. I wish I could do a Reagan impression for this ending, because I don't know how to really talk like Reagan. Haha. <laughs> hey dudes, thanks for rescuing me. Let's go for a burger. Ha 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 ha. What an awesome reward. Burger with fucking Ronald Reagan. And there's... Why does Ron have a burger, but not that, not the, uh, the bad dude? So yeah, this is Bad Dude versus Dragon Ninja. Classic if I ever played one. Starts at very uneven difficulty. First three levels, fairly easy. Last four levels, very hard. Anyhow, hope you enjoy it. I'm still deciding on what I'm going to start next. So, what, Dot Man and Mix Man, Monsieur Mickey, what's with some of these? I forgot that old Japanese games often had, or had people using fake names that were really stupid. But yeah, I don't know what I'm playing next, so it'll be a surprise to you as well as me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad I stuck this out. Glad to see you. How you enjoyed the game. Watch your data east new games to come. Oh, that's such fucking amazing English! Ah, ha, ha. Also, the game didn't let me put in a high score yet. Because I should have gotten a high score. The end. But yeah, I'm sure I'll figure something out to play next, and it'll be a nice surprise for everyone. Oh, there we go. I'm actually going to put Rob in for this top ass score. So, just high as fuck. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's going to be a wrap. I hope you liked the music that I put in. Uh, it was Guns N' Roses song for a direction they had, uh, direction they were going to go before Chinese Re Democracy got released. That's uh, called Oh My God. It was only recorded for the End of Days soundtrack. Kind of a nice little, you know, Nine Inch Nails Broken Era or Ministry uh, Psalm 69 era sound to it. Very good. Just pounding metal with, or loud metal with a lot of pounding industrial noise going on in the background. Alright, so I thank you very much for watching. Next time, something. Have a good one. Hello.